Vida to me was the toughest. Vida Blue. He threw a heavy baseball, threw it hard. Strike three got him on a blazing fastball. Strike three call with a fastball. The Cy Young Award winner. Vida Blue. Very intense young man today before this game. Eight innings in the playoffs and World Series without giving up a run. Vida Blue. You know, when you grow up in a time that I did, and you only get one game a week, and the Oakland A's went on this incredible run to win three World Series in a row, you start to get to know those players. And as I got older and got through pro ball and got a chance to be around people, Vida Blue became a really good friend, one of the closest, nicest people you'd ever run into. And so it is of sad news to see him pass away at 73 years old. I got a call from Dave Stewart the other morning telling me that Vida had passed. So I started thinking about Vita Blue, and you think oftentimes about that 1971 All-Star game that had 26 Hall of Famers in it, but that year was really special. Vita broke into the big leagues at 19. I'm going to take you through some video, get a chance to see his impact that he had, not only on me, but on our generation of kids that were growing up watching him pitch. Vita Blue Smoke, because he used to bring the heat back when people weren't doing it. 19-year-old rookie signed out of Louisiana, and then two years later, he was in the big leagues, and then by 21, he had already won the Cy Young and the MVP that year, and that's when pitchers used to hit. But this is a fastball, this is a, he used to have the exploding fastball, just jumped on lefties, righties, threw it by people, could tell them it was coming, and he did it. Then the nasty curveball, as they might call the sweeper today, because they had a little different tilt on it, but he would throw different breaks on his breaking ball, just the, the, the influence was huge, but it was the windup. He got it from Juan Marichal, and he passed it on to different guys. Dave Stewart, growing up in Oakland, was a big fan and got to be a really good friend and got a chance to influence, see that. But Mark Langston with the windup. Yeah, Juan Marichal and, yes, Vida Blue. Mark Langston would lead the American League in strikeouts and go on to be an all-star player. And then Don Charles Willis took it to another level. Another kid from the Oakland Bay Area. Mark Langston was from San Jose. They got a chance to watch the A's quite a bit, and Vida was the guy up there doing his thing. So you pass those things on, Vida is going to be greatly missed and just really spend some time. Here's some of his career numbers. I still think, looking back at his career, you may have to re-examine it, talking about Hall of Fame. Look at that MVP year in Cy Young, 24-8, and 1-8-2 ERA, and I think he had a couple home runs in that season as well. Special, special talent. I'll wrap it up with this, folks, as you get a chance to look at some of Vida's career, when he was in high school, he was a high school quarterback, he'd roll out left, throw left-handed. He'd roll out right, throw right-handed. Unbelievable athlete, switch hitter, blazing fastball. And I tell you, that's how I will remember Vida Blue.